guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily. If you guys are new here, um, I am a uh, professional golfer at a country club in the area and I am a tailor-made staff professional and today I have a very very fun video for you guys because I am going to take you guys on a tour of my golf bag and what is in my golf bag for the 2023 season a lot of this stuff is brand new um, a lot of it is um, and then some of it is from last year I want to start off by saying that I am extremely grateful for TaylorMade and everything that they provided to me I am so so happy and excited to be a part of their team um, and I can't wait to start playing this season. My very first event, I am playing in a US Women's Open qualifier on May 9th. So I will be playing in the qualifier in Pittsburgh, because um, that's only about an hour from my house. So May 9th is my very first tournament. I plan on playing in as many tournaments as possible as I can this season. Um, I have a lot of goals for this year. But yeah, that was one of my goals this year was to play in that qualifier. So I'm very excited. Um, I gotta start practicing, but unfortunately it's snowing here in Ohio. So I don't know when outside practice is gonna become a thing, but hopefully it's soon. So that's enough about me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's get on with the video, shall we? Okay, so I guess first thing I will do is I will take you through my clubs. Um, probably what most people are going to have a lot of questions about. Um, so I'm going to start with my driver. Okay, so I'm going to start with my driver and my woods. Um, first things first, as you can see in my hand here, I have a ton of alignment sticks. I keep them in my bag at all times, so I guess I'm going to start with these. Um, I use alignment sticks a lot when I practice, so I always make sure I have a ton on hand because I use them for a multitude of things. So we're going to start with that. But we'll start with the driver. Um, this is my head cover. It says, I don't know if you're going to be able to read it, but it says four right on it. It's a reference to course light, but it's really fun. So my driver this year is brand new. I've got the Stealth 2. Um, this is their newest driver that they just came out with this year. Um, the Stealth 1, the very first one, uh, I love that driver. So um, I knew that I was probably going to love this one as well, and I did. Um, if you guys are curious about my specs, um, if you're, you know, if you're a golfer and you just want to know, I set the weight on the bottom to draw, so this is a little weight. I set it to the draw side because I prefer to hit a little draw when I play. Um, I have a 10.5 degree uh, driver head with it set to two clicks higher for the loft. So it's actually set, I, I've always set it one or two clicks higher, but for this one I have two. And then for my shaft that's on it, um, it is uh, a hazardous, well hold on. Hazardous Smoke RDX Red, um, and it is a stiff shaft, um, if you guys are curious. Um, I think it's 60 grams, yeah, uh, 60 grams, six, six flex. So those are my um, driver specs, if you guys are curious. Um, it's probably one of the best drivers I've ever hit, to be honest. I'm not gonna go through all my clubs individually, just to kind of let you guys know, but these ones are kind of specific, so I wanna go through these. So this is my three wood, fun fact, up until last year, I never had a three wood. I had a two hybrid for the longest time. I could never hit a three wood well. I didn't like the way three woods went, so I never, I never had one um, until I tried this one. This was, um, I kind of made the decision after college. I was like, you know what? I think I need a three wood. I could use the extra distance, and the face is bigger, so it's a little bit more forgiving. I love this three wood. These three woods aren't adjustable but this is the stealth one three wood i didn't get new woods this year because i had to get irons um, i had to get a brand new set of irons so i just stuck with what i had i love these clubs though these ones are going to be hard to give up yes this is my three wood and then on here these are my hybrids uh, also if you're curious about the head cover this is an american flag uh tcc head cover and then these two this is Northern Ohio PGA head cover, which is the uh, so PGA association that I fall into in Northern Ohio. And then uh, this head cover is from my college, uh, Tiffin University, Go Dragons. Um, they just, the uh, girls just started their spring season um, this past week. So 
if any of you girls see this, good luck and wish you guys all the best this year. So these are my hybrids. I have a four hybrid and a three hybrid. As far as specs, I mean, there's not a whole lot. I mean, the shafts are the same. There are six, uh, let me see, six reg. Six regular in both, and then my three wood two. Uh, but yeah, so my bag goes, um, I have driver three wood, and then I have a three hybrid and a four hybrid, and then I go five iron down to a gap wedge, or I think actually in TaylorMade it's an A wedge, so five iron to an A wedge. So I don't have a four iron and I don't have a three iron. I've never liked them. I've liked hybrids better my whole life. I've just never hit I've never hit low lofted irons very well, uh, so these were a really great solution to that. These rescue hybrids are the best, truly. Um, I don't, I mean this in the best, like, I mean this in the most honest way possible. I have never hit a hybrid better than these two. Like when I was, when I got fitted for them last year, I was just absolutely just striping them and I was like, whoa. So that's how far a hybrid is supposed to go. So yeah, these things are my babies and I love these to death. The nice thing is, is that they're one of those clubs where you don't have to take them out all the time. Uh, but when I like, when I do have to use them, they are extremely reliable and they also hold greens extremely well. So next I'm gonna quickly show you guys. These are the P770 irons. And the funny story that I have with these and I haven't even hit, I haven't hit these ones yet, but when I got fitted for these, the guy, um, Dom, I think it was Dom who helped me with the irons, he literally was like, okay, let's just try this. It was the first iron he gave me and I hit every single one of them clean and straight and he was like, all right, so we don't need to do anything. We don't need to look at any other irons. You hit these well. It They felt extremely good when I hit them. I, they're clean looking. I love the way that they look. I'm a weirdo when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't like it when clubs and things don't look right. Um, but these ones are so clean. I am sad. I'm gonna have to beat them up this year. But yeah, so this is the first year that I've ever hit TaylorMade irons. So yeah, but that was, my irons that I had previously were all a different brand. So I had to get um, new ones this year. But yeah, these were super nice. I can't wait to use them this year. Uh, May, these are gonna be coming in handy. Um, and then for my wedges, so right now I am actually missing the wedge that I need. So I, have a 56 degree wedge coming uh, so right now I actually have the allotted number of clubs in my bag but the correct wedge will be swapped out with one of these wedges I just don't know which one it's gonna need swapped out for but I use the um, the wedges I use I use the mill grind three and on these ones I have a 52 degree with 12 degree bounce and then I have a 58 degree with 11 degree bounce um, And then my 56 degree will have 12 degree bounce as well, uh, but that this is what these look like I love these wedges. I tried one of the high toe wedges for the first time uh, in my fitting and I don't know I just like the feel of the regular wedges, but I think I would probably move to a high toe eventually, just not this year. But yeah, so the wedge I need, which is a 56 degree, is not here yet. Actually, it might be here by now. It's just, it probably got shipped to the country club, which I actually start work. Uh, by the time you guys are watching this, I'll be back at work, but I start work tomorrow. Today's Monday, but by the time you guys are watching this, I'll be back at work, so. If you're at Trumbull, come visit me. All right, so lastly, it, as far as clubs go, lastly, I have my putter. So this was actually one, uh, not the first TaylorMade thing I had. I've always had a TaylorMade driver since like high school. Um, this is my first TaylorMade putter, but this was actually a birthday gift from Eric. Um, not this birth, not this past birthday, uh, the birthday before. Um, so yeah, this was a birthday gift from him. Uh, this is the oh Spider X Taylor made Spider X putter. Um, this is actually I've noticed that I putt really really well with this. I've wanted a spider putter for the longest time. I just never got one. I always stuck with uh, my other one. But this one was a birthday gift from Eric, and I must say I do putt extremely well with it. Um, I like the weight of it a lot. I like the look of it. It's just awesome. Not too much to say about the putter. Um, putting's always been one of my weaker points, but I feel like this one has really helped. 
So that's it for clubs. Um, I don't have anything else as far as clubs go, so now I guess I'll take you guys through what I kind of keep in my bag. I have always been notorious for having a heavier golf bag, um, be that as it will. I've never had an issue carrying it. Um, then again, I do have back problems, so that could be attributed to that. I don't know, but anyway. So I'm gonna kind of take you guys through each, I guess, pocket on my bag, so. Um, let me kind of give you guys a little video look of my bag. So here's just a little video look of my bag. She's very pretty. Team Taylor made. I just got this bag the other day. Here's this side. And then over on this side is just this pocket over here that just says Taylor made on it. Uh, but that's my bag. That's what it looks like. Um, got my name on it, all my little ribbons that I keep on it. And then these little doohickeys are from the events I played in last year little ball marker and then this is a little like um cleaning like club cleaning tool hold on I'm trying to get it to focus there it goes a uh, little club cleaning tool so it's got two different brushes in it and then a little um groove cleaner keep that at all times i use that a lot during my round my little ribbon for my dad um all my little ribbons up here that i just keep on uh for just a little bit of personalization uh, but that's it. That's what my bag looks like. And then now I'll kind of take you guys through what I keep in all the pockets. Okay, so I'll start with the big pocket that's on the side. The stuff that's in the big pocket, I don't keep in here. Uh, some of it I don't keep in here all the time. Some of it I do. Um, I keep my eyeline putting mirror with, there's some tees in here with it too. Um, I keep that in my golf bag, um, but it doesn't stay in there all the time. If I am traveling for a tournament, I will bring it with me and then I will use it and then I'll usually put it back in my car uh, just because it's it's not very heavy, but any weight um, that you can get rid of is probably for the best. So I have that. This is my little like medicine, feminine product, pouch, um, tissues. I have those Advil. I keep all that stuff in here because you never know when you're gonna need something in a round. Trust me. From now on, I always keep this with me. And then the only other thing that's in this pocket is the little like rain cover that can go over your bag, um, protects your clubs when it's if you have to play in the rain. So that's the only other thing that's in that pocket. Um, so that's it for that pocket. And then on the little side pocket, on the little there's a little like tiny side pocket on the big pocket. I keep my uh, range finder. I have a little strap on it so I can uh, take it out and it mag uh, magnetizes. I don't know if that's a word. Um, forgive me, I've been out of college for what feels like forever, but uh, yeah, so anyway, um, so this magnetizes to the cart and uh, I can just grab it if I need it, but it does stay in this pocket at all times because I am terrified of losing my range finder. Then, I'm not going to show you guys, but in there's a little pocket on my bag uh, where I just keep all my tees. Um, don't need to show you my tees because most of the time they're like just random ones that I find. Um, I have a lot of tees. Next, so on the pocket that you guys saw previously with my name on it, that's the ball pocket, but I keep some extra stuff in here too. So, uh, first thing I keep in the ball pocket is I have my little... Um, scorecard holder. Um, it's actually from our invitational from this past year at Trumbull Country Club. So I don't, there you go. You might be able to see it. Um, our little logo's on it. And then inside I have my pen, um, some scores from last year, the little, you can tear them off on the bottom. And then a picture of me and my dad that I keep with me at all times. And then I also keep my glove in there because it's just easy to grab. Um, I, I don't remember what glove I use. Oh, the Women's Tour Preferred. That's what I use. I'm a size large. Um, if you do, if you are a lady and you get and you want to get the Tour Preferred glove, uh, I do recommend sizing up because I have never been a large in a glove, but this is this one runs small. Um, I'm usually a medium. I did get a large. I got a large in this one, and it fits me just like a medium does. So just for reference, if you get the Tour Preferred glove size up. Um, the last thing that's in this pocket are my golf balls. I played the TaylorMade. We're going to see if we can get it to focus. Probably not. Uh, let's see. Hold on. There we go. 
Okay, so I play the TaylorMade TP5. I kind of just tested each ball. Oop, now I'm out of focus. There we go. Um, I kind of just tested each one of them, uh, each TaylorMade ball, and I found that this one just fit me the best. Uh, I, these ones, I think, don't spin as much. I can't remember if I'm being completely honest with you guys what the difference is. Um, if I had the descriptions that we have at work, I would be able to tell you firsthand. But TP5, highly recommend these. All right, I think we're down to the last, last pocket. Okay, so we're down to the last pocket. Oh, I will also say this, this bag, um, I, I didn't say what kind of bag it was. It is the TaylorMade Flex Tech Lite. Um, so it's a, it's like a tiny bit smaller than a normal golf bag, but only in pocket numbers. So I actually got a Flex Tech, a regular one last year. And the only difference between these two is there's like two or three less pockets on this. That's literally the only difference. Other than that, um, still a great bag, lots of storage. I was able to get all my stuff in here and it's pretty nice. So as far as my little pocket down here, I just keep my rain gloves in there. Uh, these are brand new, haven't used them yet. They're the TaylorMade rain gloves and they actually don't sell these in a women's size. Um, they sell them in just a regular size. So if you are a woman and you are kind of around what, um, kind of how I said like my glove size, like a medium regular glove size to a large, get a cadet small in these. They will fit you just like um, your normal glove will, um, even though they're men's size. So highly recommend. Um, the only other stuff I keep in this pocket are, I keep like a little practice notebook. Um, if I take like any notes for a course I play, um, if I play a practice round, I have a little mini first aid kit with some band-aids in it because I've done that a million times before. And then I keep, a hand rag to wipe my hand off um, if it's sweat, if it's like really hot. Um, little hand rag that I keep with me. And then I also keep my um, driver wrench uh, with me at all times because you're actually allowed to fix your driver on the course now. Um, you're allowed to adjust it and use this if you need to. Uh, but that is all I keep in there. That's This is just kind of like my little miscellaneous pocket. As far as that goes, I just keep all the little things that I don't always need and always use, but um, you never know. It's kind of like my, this might come in handy pocket if I had to describe this in any way. Alrighty guys, so that is it for my little golf bag tour. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was extremely informative for you guys and kind of gave you a little inside look on how I do things golf wise uh, just from my golf bag. But yeah, mostly I hope it kind of informed you guys. I hope I was able to tell you guys a lot about TaylorMade and their products. I, like I said before, I'm extremely grateful to be a part of the um, TaylorMade team. Tr truthfully, it is a dream come true because I, growing up, I didn't think I would get this far in golf. I didn't think I'd have these opportunities. So to have these now, I know that God has just blessed me beyond belief and he is making all of my prayers become a reality every single day and I'm just, I'm so happy and grateful and I'm excited to start playing this summer um, and this fall. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to be playing it a lot more and I'm going to do my best this year to try to take you guys along on like my journey with playing this summer and everything. Um, I'm going to do everything I can for you guys this year. Um, this year is going to be a lot different than last year, that's for sure. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications uh, so you can see when I post next. Um, I don't have a set post date. I just kind of film and post when I want. If you guys want to see more of my life, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm at mhikesgolf on Instagram. 
Uh, that is my golf Instagram, and I also have a personal Instagram, um, if you guys want to check that out too. I think the, the link for it is in my bio, uh, or it's in my bio on, Inst on my golf Instagram or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, all uh, I, you guys can follow my golf journey on there. Um, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!